Hi everybody, my name is Joe Morgan and I'm the author of Simplifying JavaScript. And today I want to take you through a couple of the themes that emerged in the book that came up over and over and how they relate to a few of the tips that I introduce. So let's jump right in. In the book I talk about four themes of modern JavaScript development. Modern JavaScript is more predictable, readable, simple, and flexible. In this video we're going to talk about predictable and simple. So what do I mean by predictable? In tip number one, I talk about different variable declarations. Originally, you can only declare variables with the var keyword. Problem was that wasn't very predictable because you couldn't be sure what would happen to the variable. It could be reassigned. So if you have some variables and a function and a bunch of code happens, you don't know what they're gonna be at the end. In ES6, you had two new types, const and let. And I argue in tip one that you should use const because it makes things more predictable. Here's why. Imagine you have the same function and you declare tax rate and then you declare total. If a bunch of things happen, you can still be sure that when you get to the bottom, total is the same value that you originally declared. So maybe in this code, they're sending emails or creating invoices. It really doesn't matter what happens in the, to in the code because you know that total is going to be the same. In addition, if you get in the habit of using const to declare your variables, then the times that you don't, you're signaling to your readers that things cannot be trusted. So in this code, you're declaring two variables with const, and then you're declaring one variable with let. What this does is this signals that total could be changed in this, in this lines of code. So they need to pay a lot more attention to what happens to the variable because it might be altered. Another big theme is simple. What I mean by simple is it takes things that used to have a lot of methods, used to be a lot more complicated, and it makes it more intuitive. My favorite example that I talk about in tips seven and eight is the spread operator. The spread operator takes an array and then converts it to a list using these three dots. And I'll admit when it first came out, I didn't really see much value in it. I mean, how often do you really need to convert an array to a list? But what it does is it lets you take a lot of things that were more complicated and makes them more simple. So for example, originally if you wanted to copy an array, you had to use the slice method. I know I always had to look that up because I could never quite remember what it was. And I had to remember that you had to pass no arguments if you wanted the full array. With the spread operator, all you have to do is spread the original array into square brackets. So you can see exactly what you're getting. It's more predictable because you know you're getting an array because you see the square brackets and it's easier to understand since you don't have to remember a different method. And the spread operator replaces a lot of methods. So let's say you wanted to add a new dinosaur. Originally you would have to use the push method which has two problems. First you have to know what push means. Second it actually mutates the original array. So if for some reason you wanted to keep dinosaurs safe you would have to first copy it and then add a new item. With the spread operator all you have to do is spread the original array and then tack the new item onto the end. So now you have a new array that has all the originals plus the new member. The original array isn't mutated so you don't have to worry about it um, being used wrongly somewhere else. So that's a quick look at how modern JavaScript is more predictable and simple. I return to these themes throughout the book over and over to help you understand how to evaluate new code. So check out the book, Simplifying JavaScript, for more examples of how to use new syntax and how to evaluate syntax you haven't even seen yet. Thank you.